really a continuation of Natural Transformation 3, because there were a few things that I decided in all honesty I really ought to say, and the sharp-eyed among you have probably been asking yourselves these questions already. Uh, the first comment I want to make, this is all, it's all about this way of defining um, horizontal composition of natural transformations by these little fishes swimming in opposite directions. The first thing I want to mention is that this is often referred to generally as whiskering, because you can sort of see that you put some whiskers on the edges of things. And what I really needed to say was something about this supposed proof I had of showing that the middle four interchange law holds using the process of having these fishes swimming in the opposite direction. So if we just look for a second at what I did, I had, I had these fishes all swimming in opposite directions. Then I used this naturality of beta, of, of uh, something in the middle here anyway, to swap these two middle fishes around so that they were then swimming in opposite directions. So first they were going like this, and now they're going to go like this. And then I somehow compiled these top two fishes that were swimming in the same direction, and these two bottom fishes that were swimming in the same direction. And here, you might want to ask yourself a question about why that was really true. And it's quite interesting, actually. So let's have a look at this. We've got an alpha with something on the end, which uh, I'll call, what should I call it? I'll call it H. And here we've got a beta with an H on the end. And what happens if we compose these things? Now remember, this is, this is the natural transformation H alpha, and this is the natural transformation H beta. And the components of H alpha are just H of alpha of X. And the components of H beta are just H of beta of X. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to do vertical composition of these two natural transformations. And how do you do vertical composition of natural transformations? Well, you just go right ahead and compose. You just go right ahead and compose the components. So H of beta composed with H of alpha vertically has at X the component H of uh, H of beta of X composed with H of alpha of X. Okay? But we know by functoriality that that's the same as H of beta of X composed with alpha of X. And look, this is therefore the vertical composite alpha followed by beta with an H stuck on the end. So actually this part here follows from the functoriality of this, okay? So that follows from functoriality. Now what about this other one? If we look at this one, you might think that it's similar. Of course, that should have been a gamma. That should have been a gamma everywhere. Sorry about that. Gamma, 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 and gamma. So now what we're going to do is this part here where we've got a beta and a delta. So this is, what is it? That's F. And this is F. This is uh, beta F. And the components of beta F are beta at F of X. And this is delta F. And the components of delta F are delta at F of X. Now when we vertically compose these two things, we just compose those. So the components of delta F composed with beta F vertically at X, that's just delta F of X composed with beta of F of X. And we know by the definition of vertical composition of natural transformations, that simply is, by definition, the component of delta composed with beta at F of X. So that's the same as the vertical composite delta beta with an F whiskered onto the beginning of it. So in fact, this interchange law comes from three things. It comes from functoriality of one of the things pointing this way. It comes from the definition of vertical composition and it comes from naturality somewhere in the middle. Now here's a comment for the, for the, the more advanced. People who know about weak things know that if you weaken everything, you only get that, uh, you only get interchange weakly, and it doesn't. That weakness doesn't come from any one particular weakness in your theory. It comes from all three of those things. Now that won't have made any sense if that didn't make any sense to you. Ignore it. And if it did make sense to you, then you can go away and get excited about it now.